Elon Musk has completely changed the space industry, and he's well on his way to innovating his space rocket too. The billionaire has been pretty passionate about SpaceX, and that's why this company is on top of the space industry right now. But recently, a report talked about Elon Musk's plans to launch a nuclear rocket into space, and the details are going to shock you. Musk has always been known as someone who comes up with the most mind-blowing technology that no one usually thinks about. So that's the very reason why people are so intrigued to see what Elon has in the bag for them this time. Questions like what this rocket does and how it's made have been circulating on the internet for quite a few days. So let's find their answers once and for all. If you still don't know who Elon Musk is, just know that he's a revolutionary who's hell-bent on changing the space industry, and for that, he has founded SpaceX. This company makes space rockets and stuff, but it's known for coming up with the most economical and innovative ideas of space travel that no one thought about before. Elon Musk has a goal in mind, and by the looks of it, he's closer to that goal now than ever. He founded SpaceX so he could build a colony on Mars so humans could live on the red planet. According to Musk, the Earth won't last longer, so we need to find an alternative means of life. And for that, he's making rockets and satellites to send into space. SpaceX even managed to develop reusable rockets, and it made a huge difference in the space industry. These rockets saved millions of dollars in production because they could just return to Earth after deploying the satellites in outer space and could be ready for another mission right away. Other companies are now replicating this idea, but SpaceX is currently the first and foremost contender for regular SpaceX travel. Elon Musk recently tweeted that all the countries should mainly focus on their nuclear power generation, because that's the future of technology. The fossil fuels aren't going to last forever, so it's better if we just make the switch to a rather sustainable source of energy. People were constantly calling Musk out for trying to build nuclear rockets, but Musk gave them a befitting reply by calling them anti-human. He said that environmentalists discredit nuclear energy without understanding its implications and how important it is for the environment too. According to Musk, efforts to shut down all the nuclear power plants across the globe from environmentalists are kind of crazy. It obviously will affect space travel as Musk was reportedly planning on getting his hands on nuclear power for his new aircraft. Musk thinks that closing down all the nuclear power plants isn't the solution. All we have to do is just build them at places where there's the least chance of any natural disaster. Musk has even suggested that nuclear thermal rockets would be just the perfect area of work for NASA. And if Elon is suggesting something to NASA, it means he's way ahead in that field, and he has already started working on a fully-fledged nuclear rocket. He also said that nuclear rockets would be a lot faster and cheaper, so they would be simplifying space travel for us. And let's be real, we can't rely on fossil fuel anymore. Even though sending astronauts to space with a nuclear reactor would be a huge leap, as scientists are already working on ways to reduce radiation for astronauts. Previously, all the astronauts were found to be highly exposed to radiation, but hosting a nuclear reactor on board while traveling to space might become a cause of further radiation. Even though Elon Musk knows all this, he still is a huge advocate for nuclear reactors, and that's what shocked the space industry the most. Scientists are finding ways to cut down radiation, and he's adding radioactive devices to rockets, which is confusing for a lot of people. But the thing about a rocket with a nuclear reactor is that it can completely change the time it takes to travel from Earth to Mars. For now, it takes about eight months to reach Mars, but if things go right, nuclear power could cut it down to just 100 days. This is why Elon Musk has become such a huge advocate for nuclear power. Elon Musk has hinted to us that he would be able to build a complete city on Mars by 2050 as his Starship rocket is up and running for its new journey. The rocket is made from stainless steel and would reportedly be using oxygen and methane as fuel. The rockets for space travel right now are all using chemical fuel and fire. They work by basically setting the fuel on fire initially and then exhausting it with the help of a nozzle. It creates huge thrust that pushes the rocket up and it manages to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth. When it comes to nuclear rockets, they have a reactor inside the rocket that's used to heat up liquid hydrogen or other types of fuels. This results in the propellants being blasted through the nozzle and the rocket lifts up and starts its upward trajectory. Scientists are actually excited about Elon Musk's new rocket because they know that nuclear reactors could produce force that's a lot more than they usually produce in regular rockets. Even the most basic nuclear rocket can maintain push measured by specific impulse for 900 seconds straight. 
if we compare it to the rocket that took people on the moon, that rocket only had 421 seconds of specific impulse. So even the weakest nuclear rocket is still stronger than regular rockets that we praise so much. NASA has been working on the concept of a nuclear rocket since the 90s, but things never really came through for them. But by the looks of it, Elon Musk might be on his way to adding nuclear fuel to his new rocket, and that would put him decades ahead of the rest of the space industry. Von Braun, a scientist back in the 90s, came up with a very similar idea, where he wanted to send people to Mars by using nuclear reactors. But his idea was never executed because the public didn't support it. He had a solid plan of sending three capsules to Mars that join in the core. But after Vaughn's plans were rejected, there wasn't a lot happening in the world of nuclear propulsion. Fast forward to 2019, $125 million were invested in the research of nuclear thermal propulsion. An additional $100 million were also invested in the research, so the government was taking nuclear rockets quite seriously. And rightly so, the cost of rockets was really high, and they took more time in each journey. But with nuclear reactors on board, they could cut back cost and time for each journey to space. 70% of these funds are being used to develop a demonstration flight that's going to be initiated in 2024. Then the scientists will analyze and understand how nuclear reactors are better than the regular fuel they use. It will also hint us about the possible risks involved with using the nuclear propulsion device on board. Russia, however, is well on its way to introducing nuclear-powered rockets as back in 2018, they announced their space cruiser that will have a nuclear reactor as its energy source. They would soon be done and dusted with producing a nuclear rocket, and that would obviously be a big revolution in space travel. Even though there are numerous concerns like exposure to radiation and security issues, nuclear power does seem like a reliable and lasting way to fuel space rockets. Elon Musk thinks the same, and that's the very reason why reports say that he's modifying his starship so he could fuel it with nuclear power. There hasn't been an official announcement from his side, though, but people are certain that Elon Musk has already done something in the nuclear power industry, and that's why he's so calm and giving advice to NASA otherwise. Things would be quite chaotic in SpaceX. So, do you think SpaceX and Elon Musk are on their way to making a nuclear-powered rocket? Tell us in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.